This is All India Radio Shillong, the North East News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. As India created history by administering more than 100 crore doses of vaccine against COVID-19, All India Radio salutes all the doctors, nurses, other frontline workers and all those who got vaccinated and made this possible. Even though the country has achieved this feat, we caution our listeners that the battle against COVID is not yet over. We appeal to our listeners to get fully vaccinated at the earliest and also help others get vaccinated. During the festival season, please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain dogas ki duri for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 011-2397-1075. And the helpline for Meghala is 108 and 1070. And now the news in detail. The 25th Regional Committee Meeting of Indian Council of Agricultural Research for 8 Northeastern States of India, Zone 3, was held yesterday through virtual mode. The meeting aims to provide a forum to the agricultural researchers, state government functionaries and other stakeholders to discuss the gaps and priorities of agricultural research education and extension for the next two years. The Chief Guest Kailash Chaudhary, Minister of State of Mi Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Government of India, in his address highlighted the importance of agricultural development in northeastern states for overall development of the country. He further emphasized on development of northeast specific crop varieties, popularization of integrated farming system, stemming of decline in the northeast livestock population, and farm mechanization. A comprehensive review of the implementation of Meghalaya Community Participation and Public Services Social Audit Act was held at Polo Towers in Shillong yesterday. Former Supreme Court Judge Justice Madan Lokur chaired the consultation meeting. The meeting discussed about the overview of legal framework for accountability in Meghalaya under Meghalaya Community Participation and Public Service Social Audit Act 2017. The meeting further discussed on the status of implementation of social audits and institutional architecture of MCP and PSSA Act. A specific presentation on social audit of NSAP program and its key findings are discussed. The meeting was attended by the representatives of various line departments under Schedule 1 of MCP PSSA Act apart from concerned village representatives. The Centre has asked all the states and union territories to maintain a strict watch on the COVID situation with focus on district level measures for containment of clusters of new positive cases. In a letter written to Chief Secretaries and Administrators of all states and UTs, Union Health Secretary Rajesh Bhushan said that in case of any district reporting a surge in cases or rise in positivity rates, intensive action and local containment must be initiated. He said eight districts in three states of Mizoram, Kerala and Sikkim have been reporting more than 10% positive rates in the past two weeks. Over 131 crore 99 lakh doses of COVID vaccine have been administered in the country so far under the nationwide vaccination drive. Union Health Ministry said the national recovery rate stands at 98.36%. In Manipur, the Nupilal Day will be observed today to pay a rich homage to the brave women of the state who fought for justice against the British colonial. The day is observed every year on December 12th and the state government held an observation ceremony at Nupilal Memorial Complex located at Imphal. Manipur Chief Minister Mbiren Singh and his cabinet colleagues will attend the observation. The day is also observed by various NGOs and women-based organizations across the state as well as outside the state where Manipuris are settled. A portrait of the legendary guard of freedom fighter Pa Chogen Neng Min Jom Sangma uh, was unveiled yesterday to commemorate his 149th death anniversary. Painted by Benedict Hinuta, the portrait was unveiled by Cabinet Minister James P. K. Sangma in a program jointly organized by Synod College and the Department of Art and Culture. Mentioning about the contribution made by legendary freedom fighter, James P. K. Sangma said that it is an honor to pay respect and tributes to the sacrifices made by Pa 
Togan Sangma. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio Shillong. Have a nice day. 